Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design steel connections using RAM Connection Standalone. RAM Connection Standalone is used for the design and detailing of steel connections. It can design individual shear, moment, brace, splice, and truss connection types to a variety of different steel design codes. In this video, we are gonna be focusing on the workflow for assigning a flange plate moment connection to both a beam to column joint and a beam to girder joint. We will now turn our attention to our RAM connection standalone application. And as you can see, we have several joints that have already been set up in this particular model. For this particular video, we're gonna be focusing on designing some flange plate moment connections for both a beam column web joint and also a beam girder joint. So we're going to be focusing on joints number three and four in the sample model. Let's go ahead and start with joint number three. Now this particular joint has both a shear and a moment reaction imposed upon it. Since the flange plate connection can resist the moment reaction only, we've already gone ahead and assigned a shear reaction to this particular joint. We have chosen an extended single plate connection. And if we were to take a look in the joint selection area, we would see that this shear connection is currently passing all code checks without producing any warnings. We're now at the point in our workflow where we're ready to assign our moment connection. To start that process, select the design tab in your ribbon toolbar and then click on the assign icon. In the connection assignment dialog, you're gonna notice that the filter is already appropriately set to the beam column web joint since that's currently what I have selected. You're also going to notice that RAM connection has different types of connections that can resist certain types of forces, and they are all organized into their appropriate sections. Now, a flange plate moment connection is available as both a basic connection and a smart connection. For this particular exercise, we're going to go with a basic connection. We're going to find the moment area and we can choose either a flange plate that will be bolted or welded to the beam member. I'm gonna select the desired connection template and then click on the assign icon. Now on your main window, you're gonna notice that both a moment connection and a shear connection have been assigned to the currently selected joint. In the joint selection area, you'll be able to see the controlling interaction ratio for the current connection design. Now, since I have both a moment and a shear connection assigned to this joint, I do have the possibility of editing either type of connection through the edit tool in the design tab of the ribbon toolbar. Since this is currently passing the code check for both the shear and the moment connection, I'll go ahead and move on in my workflow. Now, next what I wanna do is I wanna assign a moment connection to joint number four. This is a beam girder connection. Again, this joint has a shear and a moment reaction imposed upon it, and we've already taken care of the shear reaction through a single plate connection. We're now ready to assign a moment connection to the currently selected joint. So we'll go up to the design tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on the assign icon. Again, the filter is going to be automatically set for you according to the currently selected joint, which for this example is a beam girder. Next, we're gonna go ahead and select which type of connection or workflow we wanna use, either a basic or a smart connection workflow. For this particular exercise, we'll stick with a basic connection workflow. We'll go down to the moment section and we'll select our desired connection template. This time, let's go with a flange plate welded connection. Once we've selected our connection template, we will click the assign button and we'll be able to see that a moment connection has been assigned to the currently selected joint. 
again in the joint selection area, we can see that this moment connection has passed all code checks without producing any warnings. If you wanted to edit the moment connection, you can go to the design tab of the ribbon toolbar, click on the edit icon, followed by moment connection. Here you'll be able to access the connection results by clicking on the results icon. We can see a DXF view, and then we can modify any parameters as needed. Since we have passed the code check, and here we can see the interaction ratio specifically for our moment connection, we'll go ahead and exit out of the connection pad without making any changes. At this point, this concludes the process for assigning a flange plate moment connection to both a beam column and a beam girder joint in RAM connection standalone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.